Welcome back to the world's worst fishing everybody. As you can see, a little bit different setting today. We are not in the fish cave. We are up here at the one and only <clears throat> Lake Seminole, which borders Florida and Georgia. And I think further up, you get some Alabama up in here too. So, uh, a lot of people have been asking um, for some fishing content with my baits, which, you know, if I'm being completely honest, I don't have a lot of time to do. You know, the reason why every one of my videos does not include fishing footage is because I'm a, a guy in his mid-30s with a family and a full-time job. I mean, it just is what it is. I wish I could bring you guys more fishing content. You know, every bait I make, I wish I could include some, some footage of it uh, with every video. Uh, but this video is for all of those who uh, want to see some of my baits in action. We have a two-day long fishing excursion up here. We're staying in a cabin. Should be some fun footage. And uh, we're going to see if my baits actually work. All right, quick fast forward in time. It's actually now after the trip. And the bait that stood out the most, the bait that you're about to see us catch uh, fish on, uh, was this right here. But I wanted to show you the exact pattern and color recipe. So you can see this is the AI 4-inch hand pour. And you'll see I've already got a little black shad dot on it, okay? So now <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to do one of my favorite shad colors. And I've been pouring this color for a while. You've probably seen it on my Instagram. It's called Chartreuse Shad. Um, I've been pouring it for a while, but I've never seen it in the water, um, especially on an umbrella rig. So the bottom is Alien Pearl from Dip Your Car. The center is Dead On Chartreuse, okay? And then the top is ZTP. Those three things layered up like this on this little four inch was probably the best uh, shad color I've ever seen in the water and I've poured them all. Um, so here we go. All right, and here is the Alien Pearl. And uh, I poured these in dead on plastic uh, swim bait blend, the black bucket swim bait blend. And of course, I like to do my layers. Um, I like to pour that belly layer just to the top of that little hook slot insert. All right. So that is the first step to create to create this color. Just sort of a light mixture of chartreuse. You can see it's not too thick. And now we're just going to pour a vein with it. Just like that. Now these four inches don't take much plastic. So you can really, really pump out a lot of these with very minimal plastic usage. All right, and last we have our ZTP. You can see it's not a ton of it. It's pretty see-through. Actually, here, we'll do this one. This one's a little bit more visible. Pour it nice and slow. Try not to over pour, of course. These four inches, man, they fill up fast and you can over pour it before you know it. Okay, and there it is. Looking good. And uh, this color right here probably got bit more than um, any other uh, bait that we had. And then here it is in the mold. See that beautiful color shifting effect. So yeah, there it is. Definitely try that one. And uh, that right there is what got bit for us most. We got some hand pours. We've been catching some fish. Big Bird has not caught any fish, but me and my dad have, and that's what's important. Mm -hmm. Hybrids. What you got on there? I got a bread. What you got good to eat? Spotted. Calling it's it. In the boat. Go right at us. It's a little hybrid. It's a bread. Uh-huh. 
Oh yeah. All right, my baits actually worked. Y'all saw it. Got us a nice hybrid. That's actually a really fine hybrid. That's a good. Is that a striper? Is that that's a, hybrid? a really good hybrid. I can never tell what they are. Yep, that's a bread. Very cool. Dad's on. Get him. Get that fish. Get that fish. Dang, dang. You, dang, you got many, something. How many you got? It's just one, but it's a... It's Get him. Okay. So he's throwing a mixture of the bloodline hey. swim bait and the hand pours. Hey, hey. Sweet. <clears throat> yeah, you're right. All right, that fish was like way out there, like in the river channel. Oh, yeah. Don't Sweet. touch on me. I don't want this on me. All right. Been a few minutes since our last one, but there's still some fish here. Look at that. That's pretty. That's a two and a half pound. This is a good one. Yeah. These aren't big hybrids, but they're soft. These are average bigger than last trips. Actually, yeah, they are. Yeah, so hopefully we'll get a lot more of these today. And Big Bird still needs to get on the board. He's slacking. All right, well, we found a little school of tiny yeah. largemouth. Yeah, I, I had three of those. Oh, uh, yin, 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 troll. Sorry, we're we're about oh, we're about to be was. like, yeah, these are like little these are little fish. Yeah, we got a mess, but that's awesome right there. We found a little bar off this island, and we're gonna see what's here. I've got that little mini a rig. They came right up. That's got like the little two inch baits on it. They might tear that thing up. But I mean, it's still deep though. I mean. It's still 20 foot. I know, but we hit that. We hit something there that threw yeah. me off a little bit. Yeah, man. Because I was about to say, okay, and then you did the same thing. You were like, oh, there. All, all these little bass are still really deep. So. I want, oh. I want to see what that's him. Yep, see. little dinker. Little little pip squeak. I want to know what that feels like. Well, he ain't big, but it's fun. All right, so it's halftime, and uh, Florida State's winning. It's 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 great. So uh, we're up here at Trails in Marina on Lake Seminole, and this has been the bait that's done the damage. That and this one, which I have videos on all these colors, of course. Look at that. All right, Ying, you want to dig out some fish? Get that bread. Oh yeah, that might be a white bass because he's little. That's it's, the one I caught this morning. it's hard to tell. All right, there's some bridges down there. That's a deep. Yeah, That's there's a there's a real good one. That's what we come here for, folks. Fit, we are fishing way down yonder on the Chattahoochee. Where it gets hotter. No, it's kind of colder. Now. Yeah, I was gonna say it's pretty cold. Yeah. Oh, he got you. Be careful, they bite. Yeah, there's a river ledge right up here that that we that. that we catch a lot of hybrids on. Aren't they just awesome? I wish we had these in tally. So if y'all look closely, there's some pigment shift in there. Fonzie at Dip Your Car, he developed the hyper shifts based on these uh, on the scaling patterns of the hybrids. And then we injected it into the hybrids themselves. Yeah, there's a good one. We got jaw jacked. Add him on the stack there. Alrighty. Here's how you can tell I did not choose the beer for our fishing trip. Yuck. That's terrible beer, dude. It is. Grab one. I'm not grabbing you one. That stuff's disgusting. He wanted to help out ever since his passenger had been trying to reach that. That beer sucks. Yeah, so this marine is really cool. I've been coming here with my dad since I was like 10. And uh, this little restaurant right here is the bomb.com. I think it's called Pops Grill or something. And then, uh, you know, some cabins to stay in. There's normally a lot more trees around here, but as you can see, they look real thin. Hurricane Michael, a few years, hit this place uh, pretty hard and uh, wiped it out pretty good. But we're about to head back out, and uh, I'll talk a little bit about what we're uh, doing as far as the, uh, the fish that we're targeting and stuff. All right, the world's worst fishing mobile. Got it tied off here in the boathouse. And uh, so basically, let me get out my phone and uh, I've got like the little Navionics boating app on it. 
So here in the Chattahoochee River, and this is, we're, we're just above where it really opens up into the main lake uh, uh, part of Lake Seminole. And uh, you'll see this uh, ledge here. And you got this point coming off into the river, and then it gets down to like, yeah, look at that, 38 feet. It gets down, it gets deeper than that, actually. There's a submerged bridge down there, and uh, yeah, the hybrids, they like to get on this bar where the cursor is, and then they'll get in this hole. So yeah, that's kind of what we're doing, and uh, I left on Alabama rigs in the winter. So that's what we've been doing. So, some yum flash mob juniors. You know, of course, the hand ports look super realistic. We've caught some bass on, uh, these are just solid single color bloodlines without the lines and eyes on them. Um, we sometimes jig spoons for them, but they just haven't been thick enough. You know, I'm not really seeing them thick on the grass. Uh, they're just kind of scattered all over that bar and that ledge, but we've uh, caught enough to have enough fun. All right. All right, so, oh, so Big Bird needs to catch a fish. I'm going to be really upset if he doesn't, but he's having fun. No, I'm not. Really not. Florida State won their basketball game. They did. They did. I suck at fishing. Agree. You're good at making baits. And you're not even good at that. Yeah, that should be a thriving forest. Uh, instead, it looks like Hiroshima. Thanks for much. Unfortunately, the hurricane just wiped this area out. Jack, I'm flying. <laughs> All right, Dad's got a big old hybrid there. Nice two and a half pounder. Sweet. Look at that. He tried to eat all the hand pours on that one. Look at that. Tried to get every bait on that thing in his mouth. And, al and almost did. Alright, Dad is smoking us. Is it another spot? It is. Look at that. See? They like that, that bait. Alright, so he, he's got a lighter Alabama rig with a little bit smaller baits on it. And he has figured out how to get these spots going. And we're not even supposed to have spotted bass up here. Down here. Down here, yeah. Because that's Lake Seminole, which means that's Florida, and we have spotted bass. I love it. Oh, she's talking good. It's a bread. Right. Oh, yeah. Another, another nice one. It's some hand pours, baby. Bread's baby on the hand pours. Oh, that's another solid one. Yeah. Two and a half pounds. Yeah. Two and a half pound. Uh, you know, these uh, these baits have been chewed on a bunch and thrown a bunch. Luckily, none of them have t uh, torn. It says poured with swim bait blend. You can get away with tube blend in these if you want them a little tougher. Come on now. Come on. There we go. Yeah, it had, it had been a while since we got a bite, but... Well, stay in the game. Stay in the game, Ying. There you go. That's how you stay in the game. Just, you know, steal my rod. All you big bird fans out there, it happened. It happened. Some of y'all didn't believe in me. Now, now. Y'all didn't think it was going to happen. Tell, tell them what the difference was. The difference was Chris put on a real A rig with real weights. It made all the difference in, in the world. Don't let it get off now. He's looked pretty good. So now earlier he had a lighter Alabama rig on and didn't have any hand pours. That was that did was... not. I had zoom baits. Oh my god. Yeah. This is a big spot, I think. I told you we needed to be further up. Oh, no, it's a big bridge. No, no, it's a bridge. Oh, it's, it's a, a big bridge. That's a big one. That's a gosh. Dang. I can't. He won't stop. All right, there we go. <laughs> oh god. Oh, man. Yeah. All right. Talking about. We're back. We're back in the fish spot. We went like 20 yards that way and couldn't catch a thing. That's, that's a, a good that's one. That's a fine one. He hit like a hammer knock. That out. was unbelievable. It felt like one of those stripers blow the dam. That's two and 20 minutes though. Not bad. It's two in the same spot though. Camera still rolling? I believe so. It could be off. Yep. Yeah. No. Oh, no. that's a good color shift. Oh, perfect. Color shift hybrids, baby. Oh, so awesome. 
Uh, Dad's on. That's a spot. spot. Get him in. Get him in. Get him in. Get him in. That's a spot of bass. So red through the back. Yeah. Look at that. Look at this. That. These spot. It, it's it's Barely the hooked. it's the spotted bass that are getting. It that are the, uh, here. Show show the fish. The hand pour. Golly, what a fat spot. Yeah. That's a football. That is an absolute football. <laughs> Dude. That's a great shot of that too. All right, Dad is killing us. Get him. Oh, two big brids. Two good brids. Oh my gosh. Look at this. <laughs> oh, dude, we're getting our butts kicked. Oh, is that a striper? Yep, that's a striper and a brid. Back, Look at this. Back so, to the awesomeness. That's a hybrid and a striper. That's a good hybrid. Here, yeah, here, hold hold, hold everything up for the camera. And you might ought to retie because you've had your A-rig smashed. Look at that. Oh. Heck yeah. Clean on my fish. All right, so funny story, everyone. Big Bird's phone fell in the, the lake. It, it did. Uh, so it is now lost amongst 38,000 acres of water. No, we know exactly and No, at. the river current would have taken it down by now. No. But he dove in after it, knocking two of my uh, uh, MHX rods that I built in the water. Being the good friend that he is, he let his phone sink to save the rods and uh, collapsed his lung in the process. <laughs> I'm dying here. Yes. This is what we came here for. Hand me a beer. I'm dying. You need a beer? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mr. Salty, how was the trip? Hey, get a shot of this boat. This is cool. Okay. How about it, y'all? That's, right. that's got a dolphin on it. All right, we are heading home. And uh, so that, that was the second uh, time we've come up to this particular um, stretch of river uh, with hybrid stripers in mind and just grinded on them for a whole weekend um, well uh, really about a day and a half and uh, we're, we're trying to make that like an annual trip uh, it's it's really awesome uh, I have a video like two years ago from when we did the same thing we caught a lot more fish there was a lot more fish on the ledge that year um, you know, this year we wound up, I think, with like 25 something uh, fish in the boat, uh, which which is awesome. So, and you know, when you're talking about hybrids, you know, you're keeping a lot of fish. Uh, so we're going home with some nice fish. Okay, everybody, uh, we are back in familiar territory. I got a little bit of sun, and uh, I'm just red in general because I'm so pale. So uh, anyway, um, awesome trip. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, you know, a, a sort of a, a different type of video. Uh, you know, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you know, I wish I could include, you know, some fish test footage with everything that we make, uh, even if it's a squid or something practical like a worm. Uh, I just don't get a lot of time. So this video, you know, we planned this weekend trip and I said, yeah, we're definitely going to get some footage. And we knew that we could go target hybrids and spotted bass um, with the Alabama rigs. We tried a few grass lines and, and caught a few largemouth. Um, didn't have the camera rolling, but uh, you know, all in all, a great trip. I mean, we, we hit the grand slam. We had regular striper, hybrid striper, spotted bass, largemouth bass, and I think there might have been a white bass. So that ain't bad. And uh, it's so much fun when you catch them on baits that you make yourself. You know, in years past, I've thrown much simpler uh, patterns and colors on my Alabama rigs. And, um, and then on the back of uh, fish head spins and um, chatter baits and things like that. But I wanted to take some of my like best stuff, some of the, the better shad hand pour patterns that I've developed and, uh, and put those to the test because I haven't even had a chance to do that. And uh, man, the, the difference was insane. We got a lot more bites on, on the uh, hand poured shad patterns, particularly with that color shift stuff. Um, then, then we did on some of the more basic stuff, you know, I made a few, uh, swim rippers with the do it mold, you know, a little three inch bait, but you know, i only did those in solid colors. That mold doesn't laminate. And, uh, you know, we took some solid color bloodlines out there and the bloodlines got bit, um, but the hand pours are what really shined. And that was cool for me just because I've put so much time into developing these hand pour colors and to try to make them look realistic pouring those little shad dots, you know, and I've always just kind of sold them to other people, but haven't really used any myself. And uh, it was really fun to see some of those uh, more challenging hand pours 
really show off. So thank you guys for watching. New content coming soon. Please like and subscribe, and uh, we will catch you next time.